Well, uh, my voice may go, but uh, I've known Kurt since a little kid, and uh, like he said, he used to come to the movies and sell, Warren used to sell the soundtrack, the 33 RPM big thing, and he used to sell those five dollars for that, five dollars for me, five dollars. <laughs> so anyway, um, but another memorable experience with his dad when I was doing the shows, Warren and I would either go to breakfast, lunch, or sometimes he'd come out in Windsor with me. One day, we were out windsurfing, I put on the biggest sail because he was a big guy, and uh, I took off and he's right behind me, and we're just tearing across the water as fast as we can go, and I'm looking behind, and he's catching up, and I'm trying to outrun him, but he passes me, going Mach 2, and I go, oh my God, and all of a sudden, the nose digs in, he goes over the handlebar, falls in the water, and, and the sail goes over the top of his head, and I look back, and he's not getting up, and I do a drive and come back, he's still not getting up. And I'm going, oh my God, I killed one minute. What am I going to tell the people to, tonight? <laughs> anyway, um, well, I, I, I just want, I'm going back, I see, see some old friends here, and I was talking about my first time skiing, and Lee Perry, who is here tonight, I haven't seen him a long time. He sold, stand up Lee, where are you? He, he sold me. Uh, yeah. We were, we were the Boy Scouts, actually. He was a assistant troop leader, and he had a pair of seven foot army skis that he sold me. And I think you ripped me off for about 10 bucks. <laughs> Bear trap binding. And uh, I savored those babies. I didn't have trouble to get in time because I spent all my time scraping off the tops and painting it. And in those days, we had a, a base called Ski Free that we would have to paint on. And every four or five trips, it would wear off and we have to paint it, paint it on again. So, Thank you, Lee, for getting me started on skiing. Uh, so anyway, I think uh, I've said enough. You guys can go to my blog. You have to well, I was just going to say it, actually. It was great. I was up here on Friday, and uh, we got to go out and uh, share a meal together. And uh, there was so much footage when I started to look back in the library, and we still have access to the library of all of the different films that Fred skied in. And uh, he had shown me a lot of footage. He's not only has he been skied in probably anywhere from 10 to 12 of the Warren Miller films. Uh, actually, was the uh, we did a film called Ski the Volcanoes in which he was the primary <laughs> skier. And then uh, Fred shared with me uh, this past uh, night um, of him skiing up at the gorge with 70 mile an hour winds windsurfing. And I'm looking at this. I, I'm a professional sailor. I grew up racing sailboats, and I'm looking at this, what a crazy person Fred is to do this, and parasailing and all these different things. And I think the, the one thing, if I was to do that, and it's about making heroes to inspire people, and Fred is inspiring people every day. He, it's challenging, ALS is something that there is no cure. Um, a per percentage of everything that we raise here in Oregon will go towards helping ALS. Um, we have a couple people that have been really helpful in doing that, and I think, uh, Mount Hood Meadows that you saw there, um, we are actually going to be selling uh, lift tickets at a, probably about 20% off, and we're going to be able to do that, and 100% of those proceeds are going to go to Make a Hero and to help people in the area to inspire them and get back out on the mountains. So um, I just got Matthew Drake is here. I know I can't see anything in the audience. Matthew Drake and his children are here, and Drake Tragathon and his daughter are here, and uh, if they could just stand up in a nice round of applause for uh, owners of Mount Hood Meadows. Secret spot. He was. It was interesting when 
Matthew came in, he goes, yeah, I know all of the great places. There's a, a bar backstage with six pool tables that I found a couple nights ago. So this is a fantastic theater. And it was interesting because when I came in and talked to them about the film, I was talking about the old times of the Warren Miller films and how great it was and what a great town this was. And Dexter Hill at Hillcrest Sports went and met with Dexter. Um, actually, on Wednesday or Thursday, they'll have up on their website, um, they're going to be selling $100 gift certificates for $75. And of that purchase, $25 will go to Make a Hero and again to help local people with disabilities and to help them get out there. So. Um, Again, the support we've gotten here has been spectacular. All of you coming out for the film. Um, very special to see Fred again. It's been a number of years um, and encourage him. I know he has a big event. When is your uh, ski event? April 14th. I want to see all you out there. I will be there. I, I promised Fred that I would come back and go skiing with him on April 14th. So uh, it's a great event. And, uh, thank you so much, Fred, for all the great memories. So, thank you. And thank you, everybody. It's actually a little more comfortable now than standing on stage, but um, one of the things we did is that one of the, to qualify for the Academy Awards, that we figured we would uh, <laughs> fight, and that's a short.